Okay, it's episode 35 of That Marketing Show. This is Matt Coffey. Uh, this show is brought to you by First Doctor, creating healthcare market leaders. Hey, today we're going to talk about the third section of our uh, recent mini-series on social branding. And we want to talk today about specifically analytics. Uh, analytics is the river of our game, uh, meaning that uh, we live and die by the results that we deliver from an agency perspective to our clients. And results are typically web traffic, phone calls, form fills, things that uh, happen to a business every single day, and how we improve upon that. But what we want to talk today about is really the guts of analytics, why it's important for your business, and why you should think about the things that we're going to discuss and why they're important is because it really makes the business itself become alive with leads and profits. So if you're interested in leads and profits, this is your segment. So analytics is data that you can use to make better decisions for your business. That's sort of the mantra of why analytics is important for a uh, for business. Making decisions about what you do with your marketing dollars is, is the paramount to really where we put most of our efforts, which is we deliver, in an agency world, we deliver different types of activities. Um, but the reason why we do these activities are based off of what is working. So let's think about this. Data is broken into two categories, data analysis and data reporting. And what we really want to look at is the 80% of uh, the activity for analytics is analysis. So we want to look at the data, uh, and you can actually say make love to the data, but you know that's another story. Uh, but the reality is, is that that's where the meat is. Um, understanding what people are doing um, when they hit uh, a website or they hit a landing page or they hit some sort of function within your website or within your uh, properties that you have online. Um, reporting is okay. I mean, you know, we can spit out reports all we want, but taking the time to run through the analytics really creates these decisions about lead strategy and profitability. Because part of analytics is understanding that you know, if you can take what you have from a perspective of aggregate traffic and segment that traffic more and more into better candidates for your business, that way you're elevating your opportunity to get revenue. Okay, so what should you care about? Are you bringing the right people to your site through your marketing strategies? Is your greeting okay when they get to your website? Are they staying there? And then, are you getting people to take action? Those are the three things you should care about as a business. Um, are you bringing the right people? So, are you targeting your ad structure to the right demographic, to the right region? Are you looking at that perspective? Meaning, are you seeing the traffic coming from the right places? Is the age group, let's say in Facebook, if you're doing ads in Facebook, is it demographically set up? Is it going to females or males? There's a million different things to consider, but these are the things you have to think about. Is your greeting okay? So this is what we're really talking about, a bounce rate. So most people on their websites, if you went into analytics, the major category that should pop up in your thought process is out of how many people, uh, let's just say your, your bounce rate, and that's people who go to your site and bounce immediately off. They don't even go to page two or page 10. They just go right to your site and bounce off because they don't like what they see. What is that percentage? If it's more than 60%, you have a huge problem. Six out of 10 people not even caring about your site, that's a problem. Five, four, three is really where you should be. So 30% is a really good number in the industry. 40% is where the line is. So we try and get people to 40% or lower. Um, you know, just think about that. Four out of 10 is a good ratio of people coming and staying on your site. That's 60% of the traffic coming to your site. So look at the aggregate percentages of people staying on your site. That bounce rate is the key indicator of your website, whether it's good or not, or your landing pages, whether they're good or not. Um, and are you getting the people to take action? So once they get to the site, are they making a phone call? Are they doing a uh, form fill? Are they you know, converting to some sort of activity that's resulting in a lead for your business? So let's think about this. Make sure you are targeting the right audience. That's the number one thing you want to consider, especially if you're running Google Ads. Make sure that your audience is coming from the right area, from the right demographic, from the right type of business strategy that you want to present for your clients. Really spend time optimizing landing pages and the home page. Again, this is, goes back to the bounce rate. The bounce rate is really a problem for a lot of clients. I'd say out of all the people that we see from an agency perspective, 
90% are above 50,000, uh, sorry, 90% are above 50% when we see them, when we get them down to the 40s and 30s as we start to work with them and we fix some of the issues with the sites. Understand what KPIs are important for your business. KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators. So here's some key performance indi indicators. Cost per acquisition. So let's say in a given month your marketing strategies bring you in 10 new phone calls. What was the revenue from those 10 phone calls? So let's say it was $1,000 and your marketing was $10,000. Well, your cost per acquisition isn't very good. But on the other hand, if your 10 phone calls ended up being $10,000 worth of business and you only spent $1,000 on your marketing, well, there's a great cost per acquisition, right? So behavior of the user, um, how deep did they go on your website? So you can look at the traffic and the trends within your analytics to see how many pages did they visit? Did they click on a video? How long were they on the video for? Um, all the pieces of understanding, are you doing the right thing? So the behavior of the, the visitor, are they doing the things that would create a longer and better experience for you know, your product or service? And then the outcomes, the conversions, the phone calls, the micro conversions. So conversions could be a form that gets filled out, a pamphlet that gets downloaded, a, um, a booklet that you might have or, or something that you provide to your customer on a, on a normal basis. Did they download that? A phone call. You track the phone calls that come in from your website. We do this with all of our clients and I hope that you do too, is that you actually have some mechanisms to track the phone calls and track the keywords that were found uh, in, that, in that strategy where you know, somebody goes to an ad, they click on the ad, the phone call gets tracked, and even if you can record it, that's even better, which is something that you know, gets a little bit deeper into this, but we'll, we'll get into that in another day. And then micro-conversions. You know, pieces of content that you've, do, you've made, you know, something about your business or your service that you can see that somebody actually went to that page, spent some time on the page, maybe two or three minutes and read the article or read the activity or, or actually you know, maybe watched the video. Again, micro-conversions are important because you're going to determine whether or not that, com that content is actually delivering what it needs to do, which is it's giving some value. So back to really the end of this is if we're looking at effect effectiveness of what you're doing, effectiveness of you know, analytics. And what I think about is it's the effectiveness of your acquisition strategy, as we mentioned before. Are we targeting the right audience? Are we, are we looking at you know, what the right costs are for our acquisition from a uh, perspective of what your ad buy is versus what you're getting out of it? Um, the effectiveness of your website is your bounce rate lower than 40%. Are you getting people to stay? Are they getting to the second page? And then the outcomes. Again, conversions, phone calls, all the things that you need to measure. So this is the stuff that, again, it's data that makes, that makes you make better decisions about your business. I know this is a lot to cover and uh, appreciate you getting through the end of this and we'll see you in the next episode.